Okay, see Lindelof videos. In the last video, we were talking about present value theorem. And the other way that present value theorem can be used is in something called amortization. And amortization talks of am, the uh, word morte uh, comes from the word death. So then it means to amortize means to kill a loan. How long will it take me to bring the total death of the loan that I've taken out? So first thing I'm going to do is start with present value, uh, present value theorem, which says present value is equal to the payment, right? And you should have this memorized. This is really important. It's equal to 1 minus quantity, 1 plus periodic interest, right? To the negative number of compounding periods back over i, right? So this is something we have memorized, right? So let's do this. I've taken a loan for $5,000, and I want to pay off this loan in three years. So I want to pay it off in three years. I'm paying 12% interest, compounded monthly, and I'm trying to figure out how long will it take me to get rid of this loan. So I'm just going to put present value as $5,000. I'm trying to figure out what is that monthly payment I need. So this is what I'm solving for. I'm solving for payment here. And I have everything else, right? It's 1 minus 1 plus, and remember, we're going to this is 12 percent and we're going to it's going to be monthly so it's going to be 0 0.12 over 12 which is 0 0.01 right 1 percent interest per month right so 0 0.01 right and then we said that we want to pay this thing off I'm going to remember to put my negative sign this is where people get beat so there's my negative sign I'm going to make equal payments 12 month I'm going to make monthly payments for three years so three times 12 is a total of 36 payments we go with that except for the fact I can't speak very well. All right, so there's that. You do have to be able to do some algebra here because these things are not on the same side, and I'm not going to go through all that. What I would tell you is I would calculate this here. Oh, I can't spell calculate. Now, I'd calculate this and get a number here and divide that side by, wouldn't you? So we can talk about that more if you have any questions or comments, but I do want you to know that this is what that proof looks like. So if on a if on a test or a quiz we were asked to figure out what the payment would have to be to get rid of a loan given all this other information, you should be able to do that. So thanks for watching. If you have any other questions or comments, let me know. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do.